All right, guys, what is going on? Rarex here. I'm getting a weird inoperative. See, uh, it could be because my hood's open. But right here in the Mercedes, we got the ambient light going on. I'm going to show you guys here uh, the Android unit that I have. I don't think I've shown you guys too much of it. I currently got my Apple CarPlay here, but if we go home, you got to slide, slide down, then you hit home. And here's the main interface, guys. Uh, it's actually pretty fast and smooth. <clears throat> of course, you got your navigation, Google Maps, <clears throat> and you have your music. I don't have any music on. Baby, I don't know what that song was. <laughs> I have no idea what that song was, but um, yeah, we have <clears throat> all the stuff we, we need. You know, your original, of course, your original car stuff. You can call on the phone. Actually, pretty interesting. Yeah, I guess you can. Oh, okay, you can choose the themes right there. I got this from. Um, uh, what's the website called? I forget what it's called, DMP Car Designs. So, um, yeah, it's pretty nice, pretty fast, actually. Um, let me turn this down like that. And, um, yeah, it has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You have your original radio right there. You can play your radio and just swipe down. And it comes back. That's pretty nice. Then you go here and you have all your apps. Doing whatever it wants. Let me turn this on. Alright, I'm gonna cut that out before I get copyrighted. For some reason, it's just blasting. Uh, I guess I must have been blasting music before I get out of here. Um, yeah, super cool, guys. Yeah, uh, it's like five, no, five. I, I think it cost me like 680 for this head unit. Comes with everything. Uh, it's easy to install. Well, the cool thing is that I'm um, seeing record driving video. I didn't know that. Take that. Okay, not installed. Uh, okay, I have my dash cam, but it's not wired up yet. I'll show you guys. I think I'm gonna get a new one because this one's been old. I'm gonna upgrade it. And uh, yeah, let's go back to the app real quick and show you guys. You got Google. Oops. All the apps I got, I don't have YouTube none. And I guess I gotta download YouTube. Okay, you got you do have the Play Store, so you can download um, apps and stuff. It's just like a regular Android head unit. You can download apps and stuff like that. Uh, the cool thing is, is that this thing has um, what's it called? The capability of having a 360 camera. I think you go in here settings. Maybe. Yeah, this one's got a 360 camera. All right, I have a backup camera. But yeah, this one's really nice. All right, I guess it's the next day. Let me close the fence. So the dog doesn't get out. How dirty this car got. All right, so do you believe it might be opened? Let me see. Okay, never mind. It's locked. So what's going on with this car, guys? Is I got a message. I don't know why it came up. I don't know if it's, it's because the battery's dead, or. Okay, let me go and try to start this car up again. Um, I got the message inoperable. Um, I hope it's not my ESP, which is the traction traction control. Oh, but we'll see. Um, I'm gonna need my jump start. Let's see how much battery he's got. Oh, yeah, it's still got a lot. All right, so let's go get this uh, car started. We're gonna see if we get the code. And hopefully, it goes away. Because what I read, it could be the traction control, which I doubt because I'd driven it and it drove good. It drove good, not driven. Um, let me see the screen. Pretty good. Look at that big old screen. I love it. All right, let's get this car started up. 
Alright. Let me open this. Hopefully that coat leaves. Uh, and it's also, if you guys know what that coat... Oh, look, I removed some parts. For some reason, it's missing that Mercedes logo. And I gotta clean that up. But I hit it with some nice... Um, I forget what it's called, but it, it makes it... It makes it like a real deep black. And I love how gross it looks. Yesterday, for some reason, it was smoking out back here. So I gotta figure it out. What's going on? If it's a leak or not. All right, we got the car started. Let me see if it works. Come on. Hold on. There we go. All right, it's on. Hey, there we go. All right, we're getting power in here again. Not showing. Yesterday showed this triangle and inoperable, so. We got that popping up. You'll see if it's smoking or not. I know that's annoying, the little squeak in my belt. Let me unplug it. It's not showing that uh, warning sign anymore, which is good. We're gonna let it warm up uh, just to uh, let the fluids flow and everything. I'm not gonna rev it up or nothing. Let me actually turn this air off. But yeah, that kind of freaked me out because I was reading and it said it might have been the ESP. And if it's the ESP, that's gonna be an expensive problem. I'm going to keep the car running. Isn't that cool? Look at that. But I'm going to keep the car running. See how it does. Uh, I'm going to be ordering this part soon. Because uh, I hate this crap. How it looks. Alright guys. We're here in the back seat. Still pretty dirty. We got up here. We got that sound bar in the back. That looks fairly clean. Yeah. Still got these little guys to put on, but I can't really put them on once I'm done with this chair. Ooh, they're kind of warm. It's gonna be nice right here, like this. Yeah, I was looking for this. I'm gonna take this out. I don't want it in here. Oh, and I broke one of these lights. So, yeah. But guys, this car is real tiny. Like, look how... Like, I don't know if this is how exactly I have my chair, but like... Yeah, look how tiny this thing is. The only problem, really, about this car is how small it is. Okay, it's open. Yeah, I can't wait to give it a good thorough wash once it gets a little nicer weather up here. Look at that radio. Like... You're back here, and you're seeing that big old radio, and the sun, the sunroof look nice like that. Oh, that looks nice. All right, still letting the car warm up. The um, that sun hasn't come up, which is good. We don't want no sign coming up. Oh wow, well, you see how it's shaky. Uh, this car also needs a mortar mount. Just a bunch of things. Let me take this. I need a couple of works. Still squeaky though. Might be that. That right there. See how it shakes? I'm not sure if that's a tensioner or not. That might be the tensioner. Let me know if you guys know if that's the tension or not. We're definitely gonna give it a wash. It's a little cold right now to wash it. But I'll wash it probably tomorrow. And it's gonna look good. 
right i'm gonna give it give it a little revs move move the power steering around all right give it a little bit of revs okay Not too bad. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today. I'm sorry it's the video is short. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys were able to see some of the Mercedes. It looks really nice. Can't wait to get on the road. Just don't drive it much, but I'll start driving it a little bit more once I get these little problems fixed. Um, yeah. See you guys later, guys. I'm gonna be taking this steering wheel off. So I gotta remove this airbag, which I'll show you guys how to do it. All right, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video. It's a short video, and I hope you guys have a good one.